Okay, so despite the fact that sometimes I do complain about being stuck out in the middle of the fucking country, uh, which, by the way, it does suck being stuck out in the middle of the country, there are a few positives, uh, one of which is the county fair. Uh, it's a good time. You meet a bunch of people. You don't really care much about that, though. It's more about the food and... Uh, let's see. There's some other key points here I'm missing. Oh, you can buy like a bunch of really overpriced merchandise like I could buy a, uh, a katana for $50 that's not sharp and that'll break the second I hit something uh, so that's something I can do uh, you can look at animals which if you don't already live out in the country that might be new and exciting but for most people that do live out in the country it's like yay I get to see a horse you, you get to see horses like every week He's the mystery horse. He's like a superhero horse. I'm on to you. Yeah, you 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 eat that straw. That is okay. I'm just gonna get going now. But I'm on to you. What am I doing with my life? Uh, I wanted to be a stallion. Uh. Sorry, T. I feel for you, buddy. He's shown the shape. He's shown the shape. What's up, sheep? I've, um, I've already come to the conclusion that if Donald Trump as is elected president, my, my, my plan A, plan A is I move to Scotland and become a sheep herder the rest of my life. I think that's a good move. I think that's a good move. <laughs> they are the cutest thing ever. You know, I, you know, to, to the sheep, this place has to be like a torture chamber or something. Oh. Oh. I feel like I'm playing sheep outlast. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's the bunnies! Oh my god! I love the bunny tent. I want, to, I want to take every single one of you home with me. Yay! You're such a fat bunny. And you're such a cute bunny. And you're such a... I don't, I, I don't even know if you had a second chin there. Damn. Okay. I'm sorry. It's just... I see all those bunnies and I can't fucking help myself! I just... Okay. I know. It wouldn't be very smart to steal all those rabbits and bring them back to my house with me. I mean, I know they'll shit and piss everywhere, but they're just so fucking cute and cute. I'm a chicken. Rooster lot is. Okay, chickens, we're coming. Hey, cow. Remember that show, Cow and Chicken? Weird premise. Good show. Had the devil in it. So interesting fact, uh, the poultry tent was actually shut down last year because of the chicken flu. But now it's back with a vengeance. Kellogg's. Yay, name your rooster after a, uh... Really, bro? I'm in the middle of talking. Name your chicken after the guy that hated masturbation so much he wanted to mutilate genitals. Look it up. Okay. 
Huh. I have the same name as a chicken. I'm not really that dis... You know what? I'm not upset by that so much as am I upset that he only won third prize. Come on, buddy. You need to bring it. Every other Matt in history brought it. Matthew McConaughey brought it. Matthew Perry brought it. Matt Pat brings it. Matthew Crawford, YouTube celebrity. You need to step up your game, Matt the Chicken. All right. I think I, I think I psyched him up. I better see you back here next year, and I better see a goddamn best in show ribbon over here, okay? Oh. Well, you're adorbs. <laughs> ah, I like a little ball of fluff. <laughs> oh, you laid a little egg. That's that's so adorable. Squee. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Ah, the pig. The I don't give a fuck animal. I, I, you know, I have this theory that pigs realize... Like, they figured out a while... They're more intelligent than what we put on. They figured out a while ago what we use them for and what a wonder animal they have and, and how much meat comes off of them. You know, they figured this out a while ago and they just... They came to the conclusion that they couldn't do anything against it, so they just accepted their fate and figured, well, we get to eat as much fucking food as we want and we get to sleep all day and rolled around in muck. Yeah, I'm good with that. Are you good with that, babe? I'm good with that. All right. <clears throat> And then they just all collectively came to the conclusion that, yeah, this is life for us. We're just gonna... We're gonna freaking own it. Well, you own it, little piggy. You own it. <coughs> Swine flu? Nah, not a thing. Beans and cornbread had a fight. Beans not cornbread out of sight. Oh, this is the ag building. This is where all the baked goods and stuff are. And over yonder... My mom won twice. Good for her. One's for her, like, cheddar biscuits thing, and another one for her cornbread. Which, to her credit, was really awesome cornbread. I'm not a huge cornbread fan, but... I don't even actually know how you win best in show for cornbread, but... Eh, she pulled it off somehow. Huh? She won best in show for the cornbread and for, like, a cheddar thing. Oh, I did see it. It's over yeah, there, yeah. Uh-oh! My heart just stopped! Ah, there it goes. Okay. Now we come to the one and only reason I come to this fair. You ready for this? I mean, they're horrible for you, but... They're the best tasting snack treat ever, by far. Yes. Yes. Candy apples, never cared much for them. I don't like red apples in general. I don't know what it is, red apples are. Hey Brittany, how you doing? Good. Oh, yes. I only eat one at a time, and I have to break for like 10 minutes because I feel like my arteries are going to clot in real time. But, God, you are so good. Let the gorging commence. Pretty good. They're pretty good. Hey, hey, let's go, King Katsuru. Taisetsu na mono, protect my valve. Yeah, here you got your ninja tools, assorted combat knives, katanas, big ass claymores. Uh, sai, you got some sai here. Anybody want any sai? Sai's are actually designed as a uh, sword breaking tool. 
I don't know if they ever attempted to do that in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they are designed to be like that. We sell these for one dollar at my dollar store. Yeah. Hi, welcome to Carl's Jr. Would you like to order our extra big ass taco? Or ginormous taco? Same thing, really. Yeah, they shove the drones out in the autumn. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, you did what you need to do, now just go and die. <laughs> Yeah, that's, they're pretty much sacrificial. Does it taste honey? Uh, yes. <laughs> Does it taste honey? I go to uh, St. Francis, and there's uh, we just had a beekeeping class started there. Yeah. yeah. I'm a senior there. 50 or senior, technically. Yeah. Okay, that was one of the shining uh, nerd moments in my life. I met a guy named Mario that's part of this bee association, and we literally just nerded out about bugs for 15 minutes. <laughs> just be like, oh, okay, this is interesting. What species are they? Apis mellifera. Oh, yeah, Apis mellifera. As opposed to the killer bee, which is Apis mellifera scutellata. Yeah. And we're sitting there talking about, um, you know, bees and their um, hive mind and everything and evolutionary process. Like, there's bugs that we can actually see the physical changes between generations, like fruit flies. Fruit flies, their generations are... I'm, I'm just going to stop because I'm boring you, but um, I'm happy. Ooh! That's a bingo! <laughs> Alright, so these are these bingo tickets they sell here, okay? It's really simple. You just gotta peel off the back. There's like five ways you peel them back. And if you get all green, you know, you get 50 cents. You get all gold, one dollar, blue, five, gray, ten, and then red, fifty dollars. Uh, I actually have won the fifty dollar prize here three times. So, let's give it a shot. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Shit. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Shit. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Shit. Okay, here we go. Here. Oh, it's red. We might have it. We might have it. We might have it. We might have it. Shit. Okay. We, oh, it's red again. Okay. We might have this one. We might have this one. If this last one's an eye, we win. Shit! Okay. 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 Now blue, five dollars. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Shit. Alright, two left. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay, give me at least a 50 cent one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Give, give it to me. Give it to me. Shit. Alright. One more. One more. Come on. Come on. You want to give it to me, don't you? Yeah. I got it. Woo! Woo! I spent two bucks. I got 50 cents back. And that how you play the game. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? <laughs> I love Scooby Doo. I was on my way out, but then I heard a voice say it's only two minutes to showtime. So I guess we should probably get ready for the show. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is showtime! We're so honored to be with you as part of the 2016 Cambria County Fair. We know that you guys are ready to get loud and have a lot of fun with us. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're going to be watching live award-winning performers this evening. And that means that the louder you yell, cheer, and scream, the harder these guys will work for you. We're going to start things now with our two clowns. You guys get wild and make them feel welcome. This is Rachel and No Joe. I know you're gonna enjoy 
enjoy the show. This show is jam-packed full of all kinds of cool stuff, and we're going to start it right now. Right over in ring number three in that giant steel globe, you guys get loud and make them feel welcome, the Beast Rider! Okay, so, you know, I had fun and everything. I won the ring toss game. I won a knife, pretty sick knife, for the first time, and I think ever. I'm the first human in human history to win the damn ring toss. But it all came down to this. I was walking out. I was literally in the process of walking out when I found this. Yeah. Um... <laughs> It's a shit hat. It's a piece of shit hat. I mean, that's great. This thing is so fucking soft and fluffy. I um, I was talking to the guy that, like, I saw that, and I, like, immediately, I was like, I am buying this goddamn hat. And he, he looked at me with, like, he was, like, stunned. And I was like, wait, whoa, whoa, what's up? And he's like, well, I think you must have, there was, like, about 300 people today that looked at this hat. And, and made fun of it and said they were going to buy it, but they never bought it. All day, he said, I was only the second person to buy one of these. And I guess it all came down to people don't want a piece of shit on their head, but what's that say about me? Like, the first instinct I had is like, oh, I'm buying this. I told him, I said, you know, well, I have, like, a YouTube show I do, and I'm always looking for, like, unique props and everything. So, uh, you know, this, is, this fits the bill. So I gave him my channel name, so who knows? Check it out. But um, it's a pretty cool hat. 